Hi everyone, welcome to Laret Solutions Tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be taking you how to solve Computer Studies Practical Question 3 for YAC 2014. After your presentation has been completed, you should have something like this, my first day in school, this, this and this. Now let me display the question. The question is, prepare and present a 5 minute PowerPoint presentation on my first day in school using the guidelines below type the topic for the presentation in bold and uppercase type the subtitle type the presentation outline as stated below describe each item on slide 2 above using a short sentence type out the compliments for your audience insert a clip art object below your compliment save your work in a suitable storage device and print all slides on a page and submit so let's kick off how to tackle this question we we'll do that by first launching our PowerPoint environment. I'm going to close down this and relaunch. So when you launch your PowerPoint environment, you are going to have this. I'm making use of PowerPoint 2013. You click on blank presentation. Then you come back to your question paper. The first question says, prepare and present a five minute PowerPoint presentation on my first day in school using the guidelines below. So on slide one you are asked to type the topic for presentation in bold and uppercase so you return back to your presentation environment this is slide one you type in bold and you activate your uppercase um, in on the keyboard so my first day in school so activate your uppercase and type my first day in school my first day in school then let's move to question number two question number two says type the subtitle presentation outline go back to your presentation environment click on this button to create a new slide or you press ctrl plus m m for monkey so when you press ctrl plus m it creates a new slide for you that's a shortcut key so we should have here presentation outline presentation presentation outline then under the presentation outline let's go back to the question type the presentation outline item as as shown below name of school my first day in school then you go back the first thing is name of school name of school then second is my first day in school my first day in school then the third quest the third on the third line we have um, the first place i visited in school go back to your presentation the first place i visited in school the first place i visited in school and lastly an unforgettable experience on my first day in school an unforgettable experience on my first day in school so those are the four outlines we have been asked to type here on slide two so go back to the question so now let's move to the next question next question says describe each item on slide two above using a short sentence go back and create a new slide that will describe each of the items above so we can delete this one the title place order then we move this up and type in order to describe each of the item the first item says the name of the school so we type the name of my school the name of my school is pacific academy then the next one says my first day in school so I type my first day in school was very exciting 
and interesting the next type the first place I visited in school the first day I visited in school the first place the first place I visited in school is the principal's office is the principal's office then next we have an unforgettable experience on my first day in school an unforgettable an unforgettable experience on my first day in school is my visit to this school library don't forget this is not an English question it's a, it's a computer practical question so what the examiner is after is not your grammar or your sentences it's actually about how good you can use the package so if you go back to the question you see that there are no sizes, no specification for size or formatting in the question. So since there is no specification, you can use your own discretion to format the, the, the content of the slides like this. You can increase the slides, justify, I mean increase the font size, increase the font size here too. And um, you know, as we just deem it fits. So then let's move on with the question the last question says on slide no the last question says on slide 4 we should type out the complement of our audience so you click to create another slide then you type complement of my audience complement of my audience so on this slide you are asked to put something underneath Que go back to your question paper then the next question is insert a clip art object below your complement now we are going to improvise because uh, PowerPoint 2013 does not have clip art so because it doesn't have clip art you can improvise just insert any picture that looks like a clip art uh, when you click on it, if you have that on your system or if you don't have anyone on your system you can use a symbol so let's just for instance let's say this and insert and see that a great life you can insert something like this or if you don't have any image on your system signifying or that looks like a clip art you can just come over to insert and use um, symbols but however I want to I want to assure you that um, there are some other Windows application that have the clip art so like the lower versions they have clip art so you will be able to if you are making use of a lower version you will be able to do that but if not then you should make use of um, um, something like this so if I'm gonna use a symbol you have to bring back your placeholder or you insert a text box you know in this environment you can't type anything without a placeholder so on the placeholder you put your cursor and after after clicking to insert your cursor in the placeholder like I have just done then you click on symbols then you look for maybe something that is showing a thumb up and you insert when you click on insert it is being inserted to be inserted into the text box then you can just increase the size by using shift control plus shift plus greater than sign or by coming to home tab to increase the size by using the increase font size button or by trying to use the font size um, uh, button here to increase the size so having done that then you can centralize and also centralize this I think it looks good the way it is now so the next question says 
um, save your work in a suitable storage device and print all slides on the paper and submit. So how do we do that? To save is easy. You just go to file and you click on save or you press your control S. Then you can save by selecting the location where you want to save the document. And after selecting the location you want to save the document, you click on save and the document will be saved for you. You know. After you have accomplished that, the next thing we are asked to do is to print all slides on a page and submit. How do we accomplish this? You click on file and you go to print. When you get to print, you notice that you are only seeing one slide displayed in the print preview. So you come to full page slide and you select four. When you select four, either four horizontal or four vertical, you can select, let's select four vertical. Then you can change your page orientation to landscape to make this. After changing the page orientation to make a slide bigger, you discover that you, you will have a bigger slide and the text on it will be bigger, the content on the slide will be bigger. All the slides have been placed on one page now. Then we can now select our printer, then you print. Then you have the art copy which you can submit to the supervisor. So that will be uh, the end for the question three. Um, practical. Thank you very much. Au revoir. Bye.